Welcome to the Monday Morning Brief for October 5th, 2015. One of the many attractions of stamp collecting is the educational value of stamps, especially in teaching geography and history. However, stamps and the stamp hobby in general also relate to current events. One of these is the Syrian refugee crisis in which a report of 4 million people have fled the war-torn country, eventually arriving in destinations as far away as Sweden, which has so far received more than 64,000 Syrian asylum requests according to a CNN report dated September the 10th. And this has affected the Nordia Stamp Show that was to take place October 30th through November 1st in Tabby, Sweden. However, the show had to be moved to the town of Upland Vasby after the original host hotel formed the Nordia Organizing Committee that in an agreement with the, Syri with the Swedish Migration Board, it was now operating as a reception to accommodate the asylum seekers instead of as a hotel and conference facility. Information about the show and the new venue can be found on the website nordia2015.se and Nordia is spelled N-O-R-D-I-A. Other recent news stories also have stamp connections. For example, the United Nations Postal Administration issued a special pane of stamps and labels commemorating the visit of Pope Francis. The stamps were issued September 25th, the same day that the Pope ad addressed the United Nations General Assembly. And a little bit earlier, on September 9th, when Queen Elizabeth, when Queen Elizabeth became the long longest reigning monarch of the United Kingdom, several stamps were issued on that day to celebrate the milestone, including a special souvenir sheet from Great Britain. Canada, Australia, and Jersey also issued stamps honoring the Queen on that day, while other nations issue stamps earlier, and some will honor her long reign on future stamps. Another royal event, the birth on May 2nd of Princess Charlotte, the second child of Prince William and Kate Middleton, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, was noted on several stamps. Australia Post was among the first to show the new royal on a stamp issued August 25th. Sports victories have been celebrated on stamps shortly after they occurred as well. Last year, the German national team won the Soccer World Cup on July 13th, and just a few hours later, the German post office announced it would commemorate the event on a postage stamp. That stamp was issued July 17th. Stamps calling attention to, di to disasters or raising money to aid the victims of these tragedies also have been produced quickly. After a 7.8 magnitude earthquake hit Nepal earlier this year on April 25th, Thailand Post, with the help of Canon Marketing of Thailand, issued a pane of fundraising stamps on May 8th. Labels that were attached to the stamps showed some photographs. Half of the proceeds from the stamp sales were to be donated to the earthquake victims in Nepal through the Red Cross Society, according to Thailand Post. For Lynn Stamp News and Scott Publishing, I'm Denise McCarty. Enjoy your weekend stamps and keep up on the latest stamp news by following Lynn Stamp News on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.